Hello everyone, welcome to Pointer Technology. Uh, my name is Osam. I'll be giving you a bit introductions about the home renovation system. Uh, this will be a series of uh, videos that we'll be publishing uh, for you know those who want to get a bit uh, uh, knowledge or information, basic information about certain systems. So going to the home automation systems, we'll be giving the introductions and we'll go about the top, a little bit about the protocols, then applications. So what is home automation? Home automation is a system that allows you to control your lights, uh, appliances, electrical outlet, heating and cooling systems, whether you have a curtains, AV systems, etc. And so many applications that within your home, you can uh, you know, set up the system to allow you for your comfort and easy use and for easy control and could be for so many purposes it could be for energy uh, saving purpose could be for security reasons and 60% uh, will be uh, comfort of the life so if you want to put the system into simple uh, diagram we have an input then we'll go through processing then it will be given output an input can be simply whether you know a keypad in your wall your mobile phones uh, it could be a voice command uh, devices like Alexa or Siri in, uh, in, in your mobile phone. It could be a touch screens uh, within the wall. It could be a sensor. Uh, it could be anything that will give a command to the system. Then it goes through the processor. The processor you will have either maybe a DB installed in a wall. Then it has inside so many uh, actuators, uh, so many uh, uh, devices for controlling either different applications. Then, uh, or you can have like a hub if you're using a wireless solutions, and the output can be seen whether you want to control lights, you want to control your HVAC systems, audio systems, you want to play a movie, and the AV control system. So the systems for the home automation, there are two systems. It can be wire or can be a wireless, and it can be either it's centralized and decentralized. So here, what do I mean by a centralized system? A centralized systems, mainly you will have a central processor within your systems. Each and every device that, whether it can be an input, all the inputs will send the command to the central processor. The processor then will execute the command to the uh, required actions, whether you want to turn on the light, the AC, or you want to give any command to any certain applications within your system. So for example, let's say that when a user wants to turn on the light in the room, so he'll press the button, the button will, send the, will not send the command directly to the actuator or the device that's responsible to turn on the light to go to the processor. Then the processor will execute the command. So here basically we have uh, disadvantages of the centralized system, which is we call it a one point of failure. Uh, for instance, let's say that for whatever it is the reasons due to technical or let's say that uh, the device is malfunctions, then the entire uh, system that within your home will be uh, completely uh, you know, malfunctioned and you cannot control anything. The decentralized systems, uh, well, here is the opposite and the centralized. Each and every device is communicating to any device within the system directly without require to send the command or the signal or let's say the token to the uh, central processor to execute the, the command. So for instance, if you want to turn on the light in your room, immediately you press the button or let's say that you press from your mobile phone uh, applications, it goes directly to the actuator that's responsible for turning on this light or switching off uh, the HVAC system or turn on and or close on open the curtains without the need of a central processor. So here, uh, the advantages of the, uh, of the decentralized systems, we don't have a one point of failure for instance, let's say that if you have uh, one of the devices within the system, it's not working, let's say in a, in a certain room, it's faulty, then the entire uh, house will be uh, working fine, except that area where it has a one device have an issue, will not operate. So in this case, you can easily just call the maintenance team, they'll come and they solve the problem that in the area that where has an issue. Rather than the, uh, the centralized systems, you have everything in the home will be collapsed uh, nothing will be operated then you have to call the XY company who installed the system for you to come either replace or try to troubleshoot it time taking and it will be a user discomfort 
Well, moving on to the protocols. Uh, in the home automation systems, we have an open protocol where we have a pro proprietary uh, protocol, what we call it is close uh, uh, protocols. An open protocol, such as like a KNX system, is one of the exam good example for the open protocol. Uh, it can be used by everyone, and you don't have the the uh, let's say that the vendor locks. You, uh, you can choose any vendor within the system, so that easily you can combine uh, multiple uh, devices from different manufacturer to do your home automation systems. For example, the lighting control back of back back of house devices, let's say devices inside the DB could be from ABB, from Tiban, from Schneider, um, etc. You know and the front end devices you can select as as per your desire it's also it's, it's a very high flexible system so you can uh, install uh, many many systems you can integrate it together in order to give you a better output uh, and it's future proof because uh, an open protocol mainly you will have more than let's say that if, if we talk about a later on you will see that more than 400 uh, or let's say 600 companies are manufacturing the same devices which they are communicating in a KNX which is one of the good example for the open protocol. Uh, closed protocol actually used for certain vendors. Uh, here you will have a lack of, uh, of, of, of choice. You have to only select those, those, those devices that are manufactured by a certain uh, company and you don't have a choice, you cannot bring, let's say, that, uh, devices from XY company and you want to mix it with ZY uh, company. This is not going to happen. So you have a less, less flexibility and you will have a lot of hassles to, to do the maintenance because only those companies who are authorized by, or let's say, the installer or integrator who are authorized by the uh, manufacturer, they can do the maintenance for you. Where in the open protocols, Everyone, or let's say any company that who's installing those systems, their engineer will be certified. They knows how to deal with the system. Easily, they can solve your problem without, you know, uh, having too much uh, hassles on the on the maintenance part. Well, um, for the home 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 automations applications, I'm not going to talk deeply in, in this topic because in the upcoming uh, record will go one by one in uh, complete details with uh, programming. Uh, examples and how we can do the wiring part, how we can do the testing commissioning part. So here I'm going to give you a brief uh, introduction only about the applications. One of the common applications for home automation is the light control system. So here it's a system will allow you to control your light in your home. It's whether it can be in, uh, normal on off uh, to switch on off la the lights or it can be a dimming system. In the dimming itself you have certain different type of lights, it could be a DALI system, it could be a phase dimming, and it could be a 0 to 10 volt uh, dimming system. Uh, for the HVAC control system, is the same, uh, you can control your HVAC systems, uh, mainly in the Gulf region, people they use uh, v uh, VRV, but most commonly they use an FCU uh, type of the system here, you can control the AC mode, you can control the temperature of your room, uh, you can control the fan speed, you can even do uh, certain scenarios linking together with the other applications. Uh, for the blind and the curtain control, one of the common applications also in the home automation systems. Uh, here actually is a, uh, we can control your curtains, whether it is a 230 volt uh, direct drive motor of the, of the curtains or some of the curtains that they have uh, uh, dry contacts through the dry contacts you can send the command through their, uh, through their drivers to operate the curtain into either fully open fully closed you can keep even you know control based on the percentage 50 percent open 50 percent closed it depends on actually the the, the, the user needs uh, then we have an av solutions uh, for the av solutions in home automations it's, uh, it's actually it's nice and one of the and advantages of the home automations. For example, let's say that you have your room that for watching a movie, you have a complete setup of the audio system. You have your plasma or let's say that um, and a screen, a big uh, projector screens and you, you will link it with the, with the home automation together. So with a certain, or let's say one command you can send to the system, it will turn off the light or let's say dim to certain uh, uh, level, then you can play the, uh, the movie with, with already preset with all the preset uh, scenarios and then we have intercom systems we can integrate uh, security systems and uh, so many uh, systems that we can integrate with the 
with the home automation systems. Uh, basically, this all the the topics will be coming in the upcoming uh, video. Stay tuned. And the upcoming um, video will be talking about the KNX. Basically, I will be focusing about the KNX systems. It's a wire system. It's one of the uh, let's say that uh, uh, widely used uh, open protocol in the home automation industry. Uh, and hopefully that you will get more benefit and more knowledge uh, on the, all, the, all the knowledge that's required for you either to implement the home automation in your home or maybe if you are an engineer want to learn the tech of the home automation to improve your uh, let's say chances of getting uh, new jobs in the markets it depends anyway stay tuned bye bye